Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Many of us believe that Joey Essex has been one of the most jarring things to happen to this series of Love Island. ITV2's formerly popular dating show has been on a steady decline in recent years and, aside from a few good scandalous moments, this series has ultimately been bland especially compared to the golden era of the program. Bosses likely hoped casting a celebrity with the regular Islanders would save their seriously flailing series, and the only way is Essex star Joey, 33, stepped up to the role, entering the villa as a bombshell on day one. Unfortunately, with him facing a storm of backlash, it's turned out to be more like a nightmare than a dream holiday for Joey. From a producer standpoint, he's obviously been good TV in the sense that he's stirred up the utmost drama, setting the cat among the pigeons on a regular basis. However, for many of us viewers, it just hasn't been enjoyable to watch. The reality TV icon has come across as arrogant and antagonistic, to the point of people threatening to report him to Ofcom. After his behavior in the most recent episodes this week, it's not hard to see why they feel this way. Joey, who is currently coupled up with Lester bombshell Jesse Potts, has been butting heads with Josh Yinsen over the South Londoners' messy and complicated love square involving Ao Adekoya, Mimi Gilyub and Jess Spencer, not to be confused with Jesse. It all kicked off after Graftai's night when the villa was shown awkward footage of Mimi asking Joey to help her on a secret mission which was to bring her former flame AO up to the terrace so they could have a private conversation. In one of the most uncomfortable moments in Love Island history, Mimi I was seen crawling on her knees to the discreet area only for AO to refuse to meet with her. Joey then had to relay the rejection to Mimi I, but she and AO later caught up on the day beds where they agreed to not reignite their spark and instead focus on their new connections with Josh and Jess. Since then, things have been amicable in the love square, with Josh even moving past Mimi's terrace mission. But for some reason, Joey and his equally irritating sidekick Sean Stone have been persistent in dredging up old dramas and pouring more and more salt into the wound for Josh, who so far has admirably refused to bite or react out of anger. From making sly digs and challenges and trying to goad Josh into arguments on several occasions, the tension has been bubbling for some time and finally boiled over this week. Joey and Sean have made repeated digs and challenges, but then bizarrely questioned why Josh took offense to their remarks. How Sean thought calling him a dummy for staying with Mimi I would end well is truly beyond me. It later blew up during a game where the couples found out how the public rated them. The island's dull double act continued to call out Josh while simultaneously trying to play victim, which viewers have called out as gaslighting at its finest. Sean and Joey who probably think of themselves like the lovable Chris and Kim from Series 3, but in reality are a much less fun version, have been aggravating Josh and even Mimi I the whole way and it's become increasingly infuriating. Love Island should be lighthearted, easy viewing to keep our summer nights warm, but it's now turned into a game of spot the microaggression. After all, many of us have questioned why Joey and Sean seem to have had the most vim for certain contestants when others have actually called them out harder, i.e. Karen. This isn't a new issue either, it's been going on for weeks. We've seen the hypersexualization of Mimi I with Joey claiming she looked seductive by simply sitting on the floor waiting for AO, and the repeated goading of Josh in a confrontational manner. Even dumped Islander Omar Nayim fell into the firing line with Joey telling him he was no competition during a heated row about their love interest Grace Jackson, before Sean sneakily got Omar eliminated to clear the path for his romance with Matilda Draper. Sean's sly move even shocked our Welsh hero Karen Davies, who seems to have sussed out the vibes with Sean and Joey on more than one occasion. The most unacceptable moment for me happened during Wednesday night's episode, when Sean and Josh were having a private conversation by the fire pit to clear the air but suddenly found themselves joined by.